If you want to learn how to mask, you're in the right place. And I promise you it's easier than it looks. Once I choose a canvas, I'm going to start off by adding geometric overlays to my design just to create a cooler background. This part isn't very important to masking, but you can watch along as I create my design. Once I'm happy with my background, I'm going to head over to my overlays and start adding triangles. These triangles are a bit more important for my masking. This is where I'll be adding textures to, in just a bit. As you can see, I have my alignment hints turned on, and that makes it a lot easier to create really cool designs. All right, now that I have everything ready to go, I'm gonna make sure I have the overlay I want to apply a texture to selected, and I'm gonna go to add my own. For this one, I'm gonna use a photo that I have on my computer. I'm gonna bring the fade down, and as you can see, I can move it around. I can also resize it, and transform the texture in any way. I can bring the fade up and also adjust saturation. And of course we have our blend mode. Now I'm going to select two different triangles by holding down the shift key. I'm going to select another image for my computer, and as you can see, it was applied to both triangles that I had selected. I'm going to multi-select these two triangles as well, and add one of PicMonkey's own textures. For this triangle at the top right, I'm using my color picker to just choose another color, and same with these other two. Now I'm going to add some glitter, but this time I'm going to use my blend modes. Lighten gives it the look that I was looking for. Now you're masking master. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for our next video.